What's up gamers? If you're watching this right now, I'm willing to bet that you've played World of Warcraft before or are interested in potentially trying it out for yourself. So I'm going to tell you about my experience as somebody who's never played World of Warcraft before in their entire life, playing it now for the first time in Season of Discovery and Hardcore Classic WoW. And if you're new to the channel, Make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and get involved in the comments. Tell me what made you get into World of Warcraft for the first time. So, let's get right into this. I'm going to explain how a noob's perspective of a 20-year-old brand new game is. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Alright, so I shrunk myself down a little bit. But people like Zaryu and Soda Poppin, if you've never seen these people, they are the people that... Really have done a great job in my eyes. Rav as well with his uh, Hardcore Journey series. I don't think he's posted a new video yet. But everyone that plays World of Warcraft streams World of Warcraft has been reacting to his videos. And also to the Hardcore Death Challenges. Ready? Hardcore Deaths. This channel right here. See Asmongold, official Hardcore Deaths channel. Everyone's loving it. Everyone's loving the Hardcore World of Warcraft. Everyone's getting into it. But let's make myself big here again. All of those YouTubers and streamers have done an amazing job at making me, and I'm sure many others, want to experience the pain of losing everything when you're like level 49 and or 59 and you've put in all these hours and all this time just to lose it all. Because of one mistake, one knowledge check that you didn't pass, or just one slight failure, you know? And I think that's why I really found an interest in Hardcore World of Warcraft, because I was looking for a challenge. And no video games are challenges anymore. They're all fucking walks in the park. So it's been a refreshing change. And so I tried Hardcore World of Warcraft out. I rolled a hunter first, a warlock, uh, another hunter, a rogue... And then I landed on a warrior. All of those other characters didn't make it past level 15. I made just some silly mistake. I pulled two or three mobs when I shouldn't have. And I died. Which, that's kind of crazy. Because you could go play other MMOs like Swator, Lord of the Rings Online, DC Universe. You name the MMO and it's not going to be a challenge. You could pull probably like 10 mobs or 15 mobs and kill them all at once and not even break a sweat. But in World of Warcraft Classic, if you pull two mobs, you have to focus up, literally sit up, forehead cam engaged, and you have to make sure that you are trying to not die. Because if you die on Hardcore WoW, you lose everything. So I have this clip pulled up here, and this is a clip of me and a mage. And we were questing in Hillsbrad, which is like level 22 to 27, 8 area, I have my warrior here, rest in peace, his soul, he's become one with the force now, but it's Tora Murtrem. We're planning on doing this quest, I say, okay, we're going into this room and we're just going to AoE spam, eh? I get in, I lunge in, and I don't realize there's super amounts of casters in there. I think there was three mobs oh my that God, shoot like spells at me, look at that. Instantly, I'm down almost at half health. I use my pot, and your pots has a two-minute cooldown, cool down. so I'm here. I'm getting smacked. My mage is running away. He doesn't have faith either. We're both kind of panic mode right now because we're just at the door. We're not doing any AoE spam. Every mob is basically still full health except for this guy at half, and it's looking real bad. I'm getting absolutely smacked. Somehow, the mage pulls aggro from every single mob oh, I'm, I'm at like 20% HP right now. He's running, trying to save himself. Look at this mage anomics. He, he's about to get fucking absolutely wrecked here. He goes, roach out. Roach out, roach out he says, though. Not even roach. Because he's running and panicking and trying to survive. Dead. He died. But he died. He's oh gone my God, forever. He actually died. And look, I'm getting I feel absolutely so bad. smacked. I'm gonna die Smacked. too! Smacked. So close, I'm trying my absolute no. hardest. I switch to my shield and sword, I switch to defensive stance. It says leaving combat. Leaving combat, I live. What? It said leaving combat! Fuck off. Dude, this guy sucks. He and then sucks. I get mad. I, I get mad, I, I'm, I'm angry. I'm texting my, my guild because they're all making he fun of me. He just leaves right away. Like the, the the and then I have to go again. That's how it works. That is classic WoW. Hardcore. And the thing is, if you 
don't know what you're doing, which I didn't, you're not supposed to go in there. That room is dangerous. Everyone dies there. But I didn't know. So I went in, overconfidence, knowledge check failed, and I died. I lost my probably 35 hours of playtime on that amazing character who was super geared. I had like two super rare weapons. All my gear was like absolutely maxed out for the level I was. And it's all gone. But that is the brilliant aspect of Hardcore WoW. That's why so many people play it still to this day. And the next piece that has made me fall in love with this MMORPG that's literally 20 years old is Season of Discovery. Classic Plus. Classic Minus. Whatever you want to call it. It's the new season and it's a seasonal server that they have. There's like six servers right now. And the server that I managed to get on to is Crusader Strike, which is the streamer server. Everybody's on there. Asmin, Gold, Zaryu, you name it. All the big boys are there. S-Fan, Soda Pop, and Sony, Zico, Snuts, everyone. And here's the thing. Max level's 25 right now. If you don't know anything about this expansion, that might sound crazy. But everybody can only make it to level 25. And... That is so, it's so small, right? So the original game is 1 to 60. Right now it's 1 to 25. So the whole game is populated. Everyone's looking for every single group activity. You never have to wait for a group activity. It's so brilliant. Such a beautiful idea from the developers at WoW. And get this. It's not just that that's balanced. They also have a system integrated into the programming of the servers where if there's too many alliance characters, it locks the alliance side. So you cannot create an alliance character. The only character you can create on Crusader Strike at that moment would be a horde. So it evens the numbers out. The horde comes up. Then the alliance comes up. They meet. Let's say alliance goes higher. Then it locks alliance. Then horde meets them. And then let's say alliance comes down. It locks horde. Makes you have to roll alliance. So there's always a constant balance. And it's actually working. Which is brilliant. I love to see that. And so my experience so far in Season of Discovery is uh, of a mage, an undead horde mage, and it's been so fun. I didn't get to experience the pre-nerf mage, but I'm going to show you a clip here of my mage potential. I have my friend Deshaun, Sadie, whatever you want to call him, Anthony. We're both mages. We're both in a dungeon, level 25 dungeon, Shadowfang Keep. And this clip here is crazy. We did, I think, 8k damage together. We pulled every single mob in the first encounter. All at once. Just killed it all. Ready? Watch this shit. Extra is just one green die. Alright, I'm about to pull literally everything. Are you ready? Yep. Actually, uh, everything to my right. Like, I'm gonna pull these guys. We don't need you guys. I know, but I want to. Get that XP, bro. You're insane, Anthony. I am not insane. I am a... Insane human being. We can take it. Yeah. Fuck it. Well, yeah, but they have the have magic. To... The magic re resist. I'm evocating. I'm evocating. I'm evocating real quick. No. Oh, my don't cool that. I met him with a flame strike. Now that I'm kind of done that. Nice clear casting, big, big, big. Let's go. I have one on me still. Yo, thank God we have the road. Yeah, that extra damage really helped there. It's still recharging. Woo! Oh, big fireball. I don't think they've ever killed that many mobs at once, bro. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that so. That was crazy. Either. We just literally. This game is so incredibly fun and rewarding, and the seasonal game type will just keep being more and more rewarding as they increase the level cap and increase the fun ruins and abilities that they have for us to enjoy. And I believe they said it's uh, like a month and a half, two months, then they're going to up the level cap to 40, 45, something like that. So there's going to be lots more to do again. 
once everybody's all max leveled, they're going to roll a couple characters, do the same thing, right? Get a couple max level characters, and then season will be expanded and levels caps will be upgraded. So it's basically like you're playing World of Warcraft vanilla again, but with new abilities, more quests, better mechanics, like a new raid. The They took uh, Black Fathoms Deep, which is normally just like a level 25 to I think level 27 dungeon. And they turned that into a 10 man raid with all new raid mechanics and drops and everything. So I can't wait to experience that video coming soon. I'm going to run it with my guilds. Um, and so that is all the content there is right now for Season of Discovery. There's also lots of open world PvP. Uh, you can go to the battlegrounds. There's just tons to do. There's endless amounts of things to do. Your crafting actually matters. You have to like, you know, watch the auction hall if you want to make some extra silver and gold. And the developers are doing something incredible by just paying attention to the meta. They already nerfed what you just watched me and Anthony do with the mages there. They've turned it down. So that's post nerf. We're destroying all of that shit post nerf. Imagine what it was like before. But everything about this game makes me want to play it more, learn more about it, and just dive into the world of Warcraft. Because I never experienced Classic WoW. And this is Classic WoW 2.0, Classic Plus, Classic Minus, whatever you want to call it. So I hope if you made it this far in the video, you enjoyed it just as much as I did because I had a blast making this and I have had a blast playing the game for the last two weeks, three weeks of my life on and off, you know, as much as I can. And as always, may the force be with you.